Will artificial intelligence replace programmers and software engineers? This seems to be a big question that gets thrown around a lot by newspaper articles, the internet. Everyone seems to be asking this one question right now. Will AI replace software engineers? And even Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, said something like, Almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. And it's the reason why so many people can engage artificial intelligence. It is the reason why every single government, every single industrial conference, every single company is talking about artificial intelligence today. Everyone is calling themselves an expert for it. There's a lot of different information, a lot of false information. So let's clear something out and actually look at what the data says and what we can expect in the future. Will AI replace human engineers? And who am I to be able to talk about this? Well, first off, no one, but here's some key facts about me. Two, two and a half years ago, I started with coding my own websites. After that, I pretty quickly got into the whole realm of AI. Firstly, over ChatGPT, so two months after it came out, maybe, I got into AI, got deeper and deeper into AI, and at some point actually started building my own AIs and my own chatbots. I've helped dozens of businesses with this, and I interact with AI and programming every minute of my life currently. So that's some facts about me. Let's get on to the video. So first off, let's clarify that AI actually doesn't know how to code. AI itself is actually pretty stupid and doesn't know anything. All it does is predicting the word that is going to come up next that goes for when it generates a text or a math problem or a code as well. And the better the models get, the better and better it gets at predicting the next word that's gonna come up. And the more data it has to be trained on the larger knowledge base it has, the higher the likelihood that it knows from all of the data it has in the past to actually come up with the next word. It works a bit like you yourself when you're thinking, not actively, but while you're speaking and you get into this flow state of talking and talking and talking and you don't actually know which word is gonna come next. I just did it in the last two sentences. Um, but just because you know stuff, your mouth keeps producing words. And this is because you've lived for some time now and you've learned a lot over these years. So you know how sentences are formed, how words belong together and how rhythms and logic is made. And AI is doing the same thing. It learns a lot faster, but at the core, it's the same thing. And when generating code with a large language model, which is what we call the big AI models that you know, like ChatGPT and Perplexity and Claude and Llama and Grog. So when you ask these LLMs and they generate the code, there obviously still can be errors and minor, minor mistakes that you might not notice at first glance, but as you know as a programmer, or if you know a programmer, um, you'll likely know that these small things are what gets annoying. Now there is specific LLMs and AI tools to be perfect at programming, or at least at close as it gets to programming. Uh, GitHub Copilot is one, Devon is a larger model that is pretty good at this, um, and Tropic with Claude is not doing a bad job here as well. But still, there is minor errors and minor tasks, which aren't really relevant if you're just creating snippets. So for example, you need just the code snippet for a banner on your website that doesn't do anything, it's just there. Um, then you can do this perfectly with ChatGPT, no problems. But if you want to create larger applications or you do vibe coding, which is the thing where you take your phone and you speak into it and it generates an app or an application automatically just by you speaking in it. And um, if you do that and the application is longer, then the likelihood that errors occur is higher and all of these errors add up, which then if not checked by an expert, becomes a problem. And then that's pretty much all the downside you need to look out for. And obviously AI is a lot faster and a lot quicker at generating code than a human could ever possibly be. So if you have experienced programmers and software engineers in your business, or you are one yourself, then obviously you can generate the code with it and then look over it to search for errors and search for mistakes and correct them or adapt things if you don't like them. But this keen eye of the professional programmer is still needed so that the code doesn't contain any errors when published. So it saves a lot of time when it comes to writing the code. The only time that needs to be spent is in correcting it. And as we step along this time frame of AI, and as AI develops and gets better, 
these actually advancements that need to be made get less and less because AI gets better and better. So right now, no, AI is not putting developers out of business. It might be in the future, we don't know. AI is developing extremely fast and in directions that we today have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow. So any assumptions about this realm is, are extremely vague. It's just that today AI is not replacing any developers, but it is saving a bunch of time in coding, which is making nearly every industry more efficient. All of that obviously might change in the future. Maybe next week a tool is coming out that is gonna replace all of us. We don't know that for sure today, either way, you can change anything about it, use it, make it a tool in your toolkit, save time with it, be more efficient with it, and get yourself help from it as best as you can, as these are the only things that you truly have control over. But the most important part, don't get frightened, don't freak out, keep calm, use it as best as you can, use it to your advantage, and everything will be working out fine. I promise. And if you now want to know which AI tools are the best to help with programming and to support you in the best possible ways, I have made a video on that as well. You can click and watch that right here. We'll see you over there. And until then, goodbye, have a nice day.